1953 Cushman Silver Eagle, driven and owned by Sandy Kopesky of Fairmont, Minnesota. Behind her is uh, kind of a rare Cushman. It's the special John Deere anniversary issue Cushman. Uh, and uh, George will tell you the story of that. And that's driven by George Kinning. Behind him we have a pair of Studebakers uh, owned by Richard Carlson. We have a 1949 Studebaker Starlight Coupe. And we also have a 1952 Studebaker Champion. The 52 is the 100th anniversary of Studebaker. Uh, a lot of people didn't know that company started in 1852 making wagons and buggies. And uh, there's a couple of fine examples. Behind him is a uh, uh, 1965 Wagoneer, also owned by Richard and driven by him. That's got a sliding top that opens. Next to him is a 1950 Studebaker, owned by Dave and Marlis Olstead of Hanska, Minnesota. Behind him is a 1963 Studebaker Gran Turismo Hawk. Uh, this is a quite sporty car. It was a very fast car in its day. Uh, that's owned by Denny and Sandy Wagner in New Orleans. The 50 Champion is owned by Drew and Julie Engel of Marshall. Uh, that's another nice, it looks like an original surviving Studebaker. Uh, again, come on down and talk to these guys. They'll tell you a good story. Uh, we have a 1908 International High Wheeler owned by Vern Iverson of Lamberton, Minnesota. Next to him is a 1954 Chevy owned by Loretta Botin of Wyndham, Minnesota. Uh, that's driven today in the memory of Irwin who uh, has passed away. Uh, he'll be greatly missed out here. Uh, the 1957 Ford is owned by Wayne and Bonnie Mathisted of Butterfield, Minnesota. Next, uh, nice shiny 37 Chevrolet is owned by uh, Roger Knudsen of uh, St. James. 1929 Model A is driven by Leroy Erickson uh, from Butterfield. Uh, this car is original and has been in Butterfield all its life. Dave Kolosh comes to us from Spirit Lake, Iowa in a pretty scarce car. It's a 42 Pontiac. Uh, uh, if you know uh, what happened in 42, the start of World War uh, II was on and not many cars were made. Uh, Joel Knutson has a nice uh, shiny uh, Graham Brothers delivery uh, suburban type rig and his lovely wife Ardell is with him today. I want to make a note, she does all the cleaning on that car and it looks just great. Thank you. Uh, 1932 Buick is owned by Bob Dietrich of New Alm. Very special car to him. He's had it all his life. Uh, very proud of that nice looking car. Behind that is his Model T truck. That's a four-cylinder 1925. That was probably a pretty nice truck in its day for hauling about 80 bushels of beans. Thank you for bringing that. Dave Kolosh from Spirit Lake, 1917 Model T Roadster pickup. Uh, that's kind of a little sporty truck for uh, hauling cream cans to market or one goat, whatever he's got to sell down there. Thanks for coming again, Dave. Gus Schulte is driving this uh, beautiful uh, 1955 Crown Victoria. Uh, that car is uh, really nice to see. I love those colors. Very rare car. Tim Schwanke from Springfield is the owner of this 1930 Model A. Uh, this car was found uh, a mile north of where uh, Tim grew up, so it's a local car to him and he remembers it well. The 1928 Model A Ford truck. Uh, that nice to horn works is uh, affectionately called Jet. Uh, they have a lot of fun with that. That's a good old surviving Model A. Owned by Jeremy Schwanke of Stanford, Minnesota. Next up is the uh, 1947 Chevy Fleet Line with 83,000 original miles. That uh, is also owned by Tim Schwanke. I believe that's Tim driving it there. Thanks, Tim, for all your work. Coming next, a 1928 Chevrolet National four-cylinder. That's owned by Tim and Jan Schwanke of Springfield, Minnesota. Alvin Schmidt in his nice Model A Rumble Seat Coupe. 
comes from uh, St. James, 1931. Thank you, Alvin, for bringing that. The 1956 Mercury Monterey, coming from uh, St. James, is owned by Glenn Yonker. Behind him is this 1956 Montclair, also owned by Glenn Yonker. What a, what a lucky guy to have a pair of nice cars like that. The 1921 Model T Depot hack is from Chuck Weldling out of Spirit Lake, Iowa. He sport the new paint job, looks really nice. Uh, that kind of rig was used to haul people from the train station to the hotel back in the 20s. Very essential part of our economy there. 1929 Model A Ford is owned by Chuck and Nelda Weddleking from Spirit Lake, Iowa. That's a two-door sedan. 1955 International R100 is owned by Brian Romsdahl of Butterfield, Minnesota. 1958 Mercury is owned by Ralph and Yan, Jan Yunker of Butterfield. 1959 Chrysler is owned by Richard Carlson of St. James. The uh, 34 Ford, it looks like they're racing. Looks like they're racing. 34 Ford owned by Butterfield Foods, driven by Dave Ringan. Minnesota. 1964 Chevy, owned by Willard Friesen of Mount Lake. We have a 1956 Bel Air, owned by Richard and Charlotte Lindshine of Butterfield, Minnesota. 1947 Fleetwood, driven by Gerald Langland of Minnesota. The uh, 1930 Model A, driven by Randy Romstall of Minnetonka, Minnesota. And we have a 1930 Model A Coupe. Owned and driven by Berlin Johnson of St. James. 1964 GMC is brought to us by Mildred Wagner. Mel Dirks had one of them. He could kill it. I don't know how. We have a 1962 Chevy owned by Pat and Colleen Daly of Spirit Lake, Iowa. Thanks so much for coming. I don't know where it went. It finally died. Grandpa had a trailer. Here's a real pretty car, 1955 Crown Victoria, owned by Lyman Holmes of Wyndham, Minnesota. And I just love that color. And here we have Mr. Verdon Berg in a nice original Ford F-250 from Butterfield, Minnesota. And he's got a statue with him. And last and certainly not least, we have the uh, 1955 Willis Military M170 Jeep, owned by Jim Peterson from Lake 